This is fifth grade module two, lesson 21, where we are using that standard algorithm for dividing. All right, so for this problem, we're asked to divide and then check our answer using multiplication. So we're going to take 158 and we're going to divide by 37. And my technique for estimating the quotient is a little bit different from Engage New York. Uh, so I take the 37 and I estimate it, and I'm going to round it to about 40. And then I do my skip counting, 40, 80, 120, 160. And uh, so at that point, it looks like our quotient is going to be 3. Because if I go farther than that, I'm going to go past 158. So I'm going to put 3 as my quotient. And then way over here on scratch paper, I need to figure out exactly what 37 times 3 is instead of just estimating. So 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So we have 111. So now I'm going to subtract 111. And when I subtract 111, Oh, I get 47. So this is cool. So what this means is I actually could have used a quotient of 4 instead of a quotient of 3. So I don't have to start all over. What I can do is I can just cross off the 3, bump it up to a 4, and just subtract an additional 37. And when I do that, I get 10. So our answer is four, remainder ten, and to be sure that that's correct, we're going to multiply thirty-seven times four, and I don't know what that is, so over here on scratch paper, let's do thirty-seven times four, four times seven is twenty-eight, carry the two, four times three is twelve, plus two more is fourteen, so that's a hundred and forty-eight, so this is a hundred and forty-eight, and then I do a hundred and forty-eight, and I add in the 10 as our remainder, and we get 158. So since I got 158, and that's what the dividend is, that suggests that, hey, my answer of 4 remainder 10 is correct. All right, let's practice our division with a word problem. So it says it takes Juwan exactly 35 minutes to go to by car to get to his grandmother's. The nearest parking area is a four-minute walk from her apartment, and one week he visited more often, he realized that he spent five hours and 12 minutes traveling to her apartment and then back home. How many round trips did he make to visit his grandmother? So the first thing we have to do is to figure out that, okay, here's his house, here's his grandma's house, G, and to go from here to here, all total, it takes 39 minutes. That's because 35 minutes plus 4 minutes to deal with parking. So it takes 39 minutes to get from his house to grandma's house. Now, all told, in going there and back, so like a round trip, he spent a total of 5 hours and 12 minutes. So we need to figure out how many minutes that is. So I'm going to take my, my 5 hours, multiply 60. That's 300 hours, I mean 300 minutes, plus the extra 12 minutes here. So he traveled, all told, 312 minutes. And now we're going to take that 312, and we're going to divide... By 39. So we can do 312 divided by 39. Nice way to estimate our quotient is to take 39 and estimate it as 40. And let's do our skip counting. So we've got 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320. Oops, we've passed our goal of 312. So the quotient is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's our estimated quotient is 7. So let's see if we're right. 
So over here on scratch paper, 39 times 7, 7 times 9 is 63, carry the 6. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 6 is 27, so that's 273. So let's subtract. And we're going to have to do some regrouping, so that makes that a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. And then uh, 30 minus 27 is 3. And hey, look at that. Because we get an answer that is equal to 39, that really means instead of a quotient of 7, we really could have done a quotient of 8, subtract out an additional 39, so we have a remainder of 0. So the answer is 8. But that's not really the, eight, the answer. The answer, 8, means he went from here to here. That counts as 1. Here to here, that counts as 2. Here to here is 3. Here is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So really, he made 4. So that's 8 trips. But that's really 4 round trips. And that is our answer right there. And so that is our Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 21, where we are using that standard algorithm to divide.